Lauren here. Thanks for popping in. Today I'm sharing with you a double page 9 by 12 project life layout, layouts should I say. Now I've, I rarely share my process videos for project life. I I'm not, I'm not sure why. Uh, I think when I'm usually doing project life, I might be in the lounge room or I might be away on a scrapbooking retreat with some girlfriends or I, I tend not to scrapbook project life so much in my office, hence why I'm probably so far behind. Well, as you can see, I am scrapbooking the first couple of pages of September 2018 in my Project Life album, but I assure you there are plenty of pages prior to September that still aren't complete. I um, I really had a commitment to myself in 2018 to uh, complete a Project Life album. I've never been successful I've never successfully done it in the past and I've been scrapbooking for lots and lots of years uh, but I really made a commitment to myself to give it a go so I am determined to keep going I really want to have a couple of albums of 2018 uh, to look back on and let my children enjoy and delight in the memories and delight in me delighting in them with my journaling and things like that so I am going to stick to it, but I have made some made some decisions regarding 2019's project life and what that's sort of going to look like for me, just so I don't have this sense of being constantly behind and overwhelmed by that. So I'll let you know more about that soon, especially when my photos come back for January 2019, and you'll see a bit of a different style to Lauren in the 2019 Project Life Process videos, which I am going to really commit to making. So many of you have been lovely and sent me messages um, asking me to do more Project Life uh, Process videos, which has been really lovely to to get that feedback now so that I know that you are enjoying them. Um, so I've really decided that 2019 we're going I'm going to be sharing a lot more of um, those pocket style pages with you and um, and even though my my take on 2019 will be a little bit different and I'll let you look forward to finding out what that's going to be like for me if you have been watching my videos you know that I've kind of been exploring what to do and I've been asking you guys for lots of questions and thoughts on how you are going to document 2019 and um, so I'd really love to hear what how you've started it we're in February now are you going to document your scrapbooking with Project Life this year? Are you going to do anything different? Are you sticking with the same size? Are you changing sizes? Uh, I'd really love to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comments below because I'd really want to have a bit of a chat about it, um, especially when I'm about to start really documenting 2019. So as you can see, I've just jumped straight in here. I have got some core products that I've used throughout my album, which are those sticker books, the Maggie Hones, the Jen Hadfield, the Heidi Swap ones. They're really fabulous for my style of scrapbooking. I've also pulled out some crepe paper cardstock stickers there. They're always handy just to grab. I've using just some 6x6 six six paper pads just to mount my photos and add that little bit of cardstock element to tie it all together and feature some photos and whilst I was doing that I found that little packet of hearts that I had obviously punched out with my heart punch and had some left over from another project so they were perfect to add some of those features as well so in September the highlight of the month was really my husband's birthday Father's Day and of course I me feeling very blessed to join the hip kit club there's lots of other things that happen in September but I'll let you know when I share some more of those process videos coming up but I really wanted to document those special memories and you know I guess my husband he's 39 we're both 39 and next 
this year, should I say, because I was take, took these in 2018, but this year we are sharing our 40th year and it's a really, it's interesting how we've been chatting about it and, you know, we're reflecting on the past 40 years and well, sort of what's going to happen in the future. Are we where we want to, wanted to be? What are our goals and what do we want to sort of change up now? Our children are getting older and our parenting's sort of looking a little bit different um, so it's it's a really interesting time for us and I think it's important to reflect on and document and journal those memories um, as, as you're sort of going through them. I don't know about you, but is that something you think about when you sort of reach those milestones of birthdays? Are you getting to that sort of 40 or 30 or, you know, that 21 even and really sort of having a reflection on where you're going to go or, you know, are you where you wanted to be when you thought you were going to be 40? Um, I, I, I'm i sure that my husband and I aren't the only one sort of thinking about these deep and meaningful things. But um, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you think I'm a bit crazy or let me know if that's something normal um, that you, you've done in the past as well. Um, what Throughout my process videos, I do want to chat with you. I do want to get to know you and this uh, YouTube community has just been so positive and such a blessing to me and has motivated me to continue even when my glue is not coming out of my... <laughs> those little nozzles are so fun for, you know, those intricate pieces, but when they don't work and they get clogged, it's very frustrating. <laughs> So bear with me, but I do love sharing my thoughts and feelings and all the comments and conversations I've had with uh, this beautiful YouTube community has been such a blessing in my life, which is why I feel motivated to keep creating video content for you. So please chat with me below if you've, you know, even if you want to ask me any random questions about, you know, my setup, what I do, how long I've been scrapbooking, why I scrapbook, anything like that, throw it in the comments below and I'll I'll um, have a chat with you all. So here I am. As you can see, I sort of have a bit of a style. I use pattern cardstock to back photos or back a card like I did with the 4x6 pocket down the bottom. I use a few stickers. I use hearts. Hearts are a big theme throughout my album. And I also do I have made custom cards. So as you can see, the September title for that layout is custom um, made by me using the Rona Designs app. And when I flick over and we move on to the second page, you'll see another little card that's titled Love. And I've just done that again. It What it has done is made my album this sort of a um, having well looking through each of the months, you can see this these similarities in style and um theme. So even if I decide to go with different coloured cardstock or different sort of embellishments or, you know, just throw something out of the whack that doesn't usually, isn't usually the theme, I know that the album will hold strong in the sense of that it will have that continuity because of those key elements that I've decided to keep going with throughout the entire album. So have a think about that for your 2019 album. You might want to make some custom cards like me. I love it. I use the Rona Designs app and I've already chosen the font that I want for my 2019 album and have them printed out already. It's really easy and it's cost effective when you're printing out your photos as well. So there we go. So I hope you like that first page. Now I'm just going to flip over and I've continued on here. Now these photos, we just had a bit of a photo shoot down in the park. It was Father's Day slash my husband's birthday. That's what we were celebrating. And we all went down to the river and the kids were having a lot of fun, um, running around, playing tips, things like that. We all went out and had a lovely breakfast. So I had a bit of a, just a you know, I brought, I said to the kids, come on, just give me, give me a smile, a quick smile. So they were really lovely and sort of had a bit of a pose there for me, which sort of documented their sort of second half of the year and what they look like and their gorgeous faces. And, um, so this, this layout was really full as, as you can see, I, um, I didn't have to, I, you would think by looking at it, I don't have to do much to the layout, but you know me, I have to stick stuff everywhere. And that, that seems to be the gist of the 2018 album. So I'm going to, you'll see me, I'm going to persevere and I'm going to try to um, 
make it Lauren style, but not with not overdoing it. And that's something as I've been working through my 2018 album, I have found that I'm really having to reflect on because the sheer time involved, um, because I take so many photos each month in scrapbooking each pocket the way I have been with lots of layers and lots of embellishment I just simply am running out of time and I'm really passionate about scrapbooking in uh, other formats as well 12 by 12 9 by 12 um, doing some mini albums and things like that and what I found was that I was losing time to work on those other projects uh, even though this was a joy it, it was certainly most more time consuming than any other style of sort of scrapbooking that I was participating in so I'm really having um I'm really saying to myself at this point while I'm creating this is not too much Lauren but try and keep the theme going throughout the throughout the album here you see me I've got a little bit of uh, just these little liquid paper roller rollers are fabulous because I make my own photo my custom kind of cards and I print them out they're on photo paper they're really shiny and smooth so your pens don't um well they're not permanent on there but but by simply using a white liquid paper roller there I'm able to put that down it's still white so it matches the background but I can write on it and it won't smudge uh, it, it becomes permanent so that's a nice little quick idea if you're wanting to journal on top of your photos but I uh, don't have a permanent pen with that nice tip that you might like there. So here I am. I didn't want to overdo it. These photos are full frame. The kids are looking straight at the camera. I didn't want to take away from that. So I came up with this idea of just applying these jet three gorgeous different colored Jen Hadfield little theme stickers and they look like they're more likely for the planner. And then I just popped the kids initials down under there just in that darker font to help bring out that theme of the black and white photos and it it was simple really quick I have plenty of puffy alphas to use up and it's, so it's a good way of using up your alphabets and certainly um certainly came together and looked really great without taking away from the photo um, but adding a little bit of the Lauren feature onto the onto the um, theme of the layout so there you have it they look really super cute and I was really happy with that now I have these three other photos here that's sort of rolling around in my head once again they're full frame they're really busy and but I did want to I did want to put something on there and add a little a little bit of journaling um, and once again keep that theme with my style there I just love these photos. I was so thankful for my kids happily having fun and wanting, letting me take some photos of them. It was nice. Um, it was a nice morning and um, we certainly were all having a happy time there. So these sticker books um, in Australia, you can pick them up in your local Spotlight store and I know some of the local scrapbooking retailers do stock them. They're fabulous, they're jam-packed and they're portable. So if you are going away or even if you're heading off somewhere just for a night or two and you want to take something with you, it's so simple just to throw these books into a bag with a couple of Project Life pages with your photos already prepped in there ready to go and you will have um, be able to just to do some project life. It's also handy if you are like, I've got a busy household with lots of people coming and going, so I don't like to take up space in my living areas as such. So these sticker books and these small puffy hearts and also scrapbooking in that 9 by 12 format has made me just bringing it out into the lounge room when we're all watching a movie as a family or something along those lines, it's I can just pop it on a small table and while I'm watching a movie and not disrupting anyone else in my busy lounge room, I can scrapbook some layouts. So here you go. There they are. I hope you've really liked the layouts and how they've come together. Please give me a like and share this video with your scrappy friends. It really helps my channel if, that, if you can do that. And keep scrapbooking, guys, and I'll be back really soon with some more Project Life process videos for you. Take care. Bye.